Hey, what's going on guys? This is White Chaos, and welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, I'm going to be going over the weekly reset overview as of August 25th, 2015. I'll be going over such things as the Weekly Heroic, Weekly Nightfall, House of Judgment Gear, Prison of Elders, and the Queen's Wrath Bounties. Let's get started with the Weekly Heroic. For the Weekly Heroic, we have the Nexus, with modifiers of Heroic and Grounded. For the Nightfall, we have the Will of Crota, with modifiers of Epic, Nightfall, Angry, Juggler, and Void Burn. Now let's go on to the Prison of Elders. For Cult of the Worm, level 32 Arena, we have Round 1 Vex, modifier of Airborne, Round 2 Hive, modifier of Grounded, Round 3 Vex, modifier of Void Burn, Round 4 Hive, modifier of Angry, and Round 5 Hive, modifier of Exposure. On to the Broken Legion, level 34 Arena, we have Round 1 Cabal, modifier of Juggler, Round 2 Hive, modifier of Light Switch, Round 3 Fallen, modifier of Catapult, Round 4 Hive, modifier of Brawler, and Round 5 Cabal, modifier of Juggler. On to the Skolas' Revenge, level 35 Arena, we have Round 1 Hive, modifier of Exposure and Brawler, Round 2 Vex, modifier of Grounded and Airborne, Round 3 Cabal, modifier of Catapult and Arcburn, Round 4 Fallen, modifier of Specialist and Juggler. Round 5 Fallen, modifier of Trickle and Small Arms. And Round 6 Skull Loss, we have modifiers of Brawler and Juggler. So that's everything out in the main menu. I'm going to head into the Vestian Outpost, and I'll see you in there to go over the Queen's Wrath Bounties as well as the Prison of Elders gear. I'm here in the Vestian Outpost. I'm going to be going over the Queen's Wrath Bounties as well as the House of Judgment gear to my right. So I won't be going into full description on each bounty, I'm just going to be going over the title, so if you want to pause the video to look at the description, by all means do so. Let's get started. The first one we have Wanted Grey Wolf Assassin. Second we have Wanted Velenix the Ravenous. Third we have Wanted Skorix Archon Slayer. Fourth we have Wanted Queen Breaker Captain. Fifth we have Wanted Wolves Guard. And sixth we have Wanted Aether Runner. So every week you turn in the first bounty, you're guaranteed a key for the Prison of Elders. So here we go. I am a Warlock, so he is selling the Kelbreaker's Bind Helmet, Light 42, Intellect 124, Grenade Hits Restore Melee Energy, More Super Energy from Non-Guardian Kills, Greatly Increased Recovery and Super Recharge when fighting Vex in the Prison of Elders, Equip prior to first wave of each round. Now onto the Titan, we have Kelslayer's Helmet. Light 42, Intellect 115, and practically all the same description. So onto the Hunter, I'm just going to leave that on screen for another second. Now onto the Hunter, we have the Kel Hunter Sight, Light 42, Discipline 130, and the same exact description as before. Now that that's off the screen, we can go over the Weapon of the Week. We have the Wolfborn Oath, which does solar damage, short period of 25% bonus, Melee damage after landing a hit with this weapon. This weapon deals a small amount of bonus damage to fallen enemies. If you guys do not have the Wolfborn Oath yet, you desperately need to get one. It is my favorite weapon in PvE. It's not so good in PvP, but it's my favorite in PvE. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is the weekly reset on August 25th, 2015. I'm going to go do my Nightfalls and Weekly Heroics just to try to go get that Hawk Moon. I've been saying this for like the past month. Still haven't gotten it. Hopefully today is the day that I get my Hawk Moon finally. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's see if we can hit 5 likes on the video. That would be cool. And I will see you guys next time for more Destiny content. Peace.